We present a system for producing believable acting behavior for autonomous animated characters using reinforcement learning and procedural animation. We've identified a list of principles that contribute to the believability of a character's acting performance. Our system is designed to illustrate most of these principles. We demonstrate this system using a simple quadruped character whose design sets the viewer's expectations appropriately for its capabilities. Our character acts on its own motivational drive, seeking food and <laughs> avoiding danger. It pays attention to whatever is most emotionally relevant to it at any time. It anticipates the future, and when something unexpected happens, it gets surprised. All the behavior you see here is driven spontaneously in real time by the reinforcement learning brain signals. Reinforcement learning allows an agent to learn to choose actions that maximize the accumulation of reward it gets from its environment. Our system extends this concept in a few ways. We have multiple motivational drives, safety, nourishment, and rest, each of which has its own separate reward function. We train a value function to predict future accumulation of reward for each motivational drive. Together, these allow us to generate three kinds of emotion signals, immediate emotions reflecting the current reward from the motivational drives, anticipatory emotions based on predicted future reward, and surprise based on the derivative of predicted reward. To generate attention signals, we identify the currently visible object that makes the largest contribution to our current value prediction. The RL brain sends all of these signals to a procedural animation system that expresses them as continuous, responsive, biophysical movement in real time. The conflict between different motivations can result in interesting emergent behavior. Here, the character feels positive nourishment anticipation because it's hungry and it sees this fruit. But when it sees these dangerous critters approaching, its attitude changes from hopeful to apprehensive, reflecting the sudden decrease in safety anticipation in the brain. Eventually, the brain's action policy decides it's best to look for food somewhere else. To illustrate sociality and change with experience, our character has a rudimentary model of the user that depends on the user's behavior. The character starts out somewhat fearful of you because you might cause it harm. But if you treat it well by feeding it, its attitude towards you will change. The character has two types of sensors designed to report only information that an animal could plausibly perceive from its environment. The sensors are anchored to the character's base node and thus are not affected by the animation of its head or body. A ray tracing object sensor detects visible objects, shown here as green rays, within the character's cone of view, shown here in white. The sensor does not report objects that are occluded by rocks or hills, shown here in red. The navigation sensor detects boundaries of the world's navigation mesh and reports whether a jump to another part of the mesh is possible, shown here as green rays, or not possible, shown here in red, or the edge is beyond the limit of the sensor's range, shown here in blue. The procedural animation system uses several concurrent components controlling how it expresses the brain's signals. The gate system lets the character smoothly shift between quadruped gates as it changes speed. The attention expression system aims the character's head towards the object of its attention and triggers blink animations when the attention shifts to a new object. The emotion expression system transforms the brain's fluctuating emotion signals into legible changes in posture, gait, and facial expression. Lastly, a layer of physical simulation adds overlapping action to the character's headdress and tail. We train our model using a curriculum of randomized episodes with different combinations of landscape features, food sources, and other agents, exposing the reinforcement learning agent to scenarios that accelerate its acquisition of useful behaviors and make it robust to varying environments. To validate that our model is working as expected, we run it through a series of tests. We place our character in situations designed to trigger interesting sequences of emotions and observe the results visually. We call these tests emotional calisthenics. Over the course of the RL training process, the character acquires different skills at different times. By 3% of the way through, it has already learned to avoid critters, but it hasn't yet learned that it can get nourishment by seeking out food. 
Note that it also shows no positive emotions about food. This is because its emotions emerge from the same value predictions as its action policy. By 25%, the character has learned to seek out and eat food, and its emotions also show positive anticipation when food appears. But it won't seek food if critters are present. By the end of training, the character has developed the skill of finding and eating food while avoiding harm from critters as much as possible. The character's ability to sense the user's presence and position enables some interesting unplanned interactions. Early in the system's development, we noticed our character would visibly hesitate between its fear of the user and its desire for the plentiful fruit near the camera. When its opinion of you is positive, it tends to approach you and show interest following you as you move around. If you hide yourself from view, it steps away, and when you reveal yourself again, it gets happily surprised. Users learn that they can use this dynamic to play peekaboo. Even when not much is happening at all, because the character's actions, attention, and emotions all emerge from the same underlying motivations, its behavior stays grounded and coherent, which helps its performance feel genuine. 